Okay, we're back. Um, on the bottom of our Raspberry Pi here, you can see we have the red wire here hooked into the ground uh, on our GPIO. We have the green wire here hooked into GPIO 21. And the wires go over to our breadboard. And the green wire is going into the long leg of our LED. And the red wire here is going into the short leg, right across from the short leg of our LED. And it has a resistor in between it right there. So just make sure everything's set up uh, that same way on your sense hat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Scratch on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm just gonna double click on Scratch 2 right here. Um, if you can't find it there, you can always find it inside the Raspberry Pi menu under Programming, under Scratch 2. Okay, so let it load up here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little tiny arrow right here to give me lots of room. And I'm going to go up to More Blocks. I'm going to click More Blocks once. I'm going to click on Add an Extension. And I'm going to activate the GPIO pins, and I'm going to activate the Sense Hat. So first I'll activate the GPIO pins by clicking on that. I'm going all the way down to OK, clicking there. Now you can see the GPIO pins are now, are now active. And then I'm going to click on Add an Extension again. I'm going to go up to Pi Sense Hat. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click OK. Now my Sense Hat is active, so I have GPIO pins, access to them, and I also have access to the Sense Hat in Scratch, which is pretty cool. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn the LED on using a keyboard input. I think I'm going to choose A. And I also want it to say on, on the sense hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to events. I'm going to click events right there. I'm going to drag this block out when something is pressed. So I'm going to choose the A button to scroll down to A right there. So when a key is pressed, I want GPIO. 21 to turn on. Remember, 21 is the GPIO pin that we are using on our um, pinout right there. So I'm going to grab set GPIO something to output high. So that means that's going to turn it on. So GPIO 21 was the pin we wanted. So I'm just going to type in 21 there. I also want the sense hat to say on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here. And under Pi Sense Hat, I'm going to grab scroll message something at rotation at color, da da da. So I'm going to make it say on. So I'm just going to go there. I'm going to go O N like that. Now, when I click A on my keyboard right here, it should turn the LED on and scroll on. So here we go. There we go. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but it seems to be working. That's awesome. Now, you can change uh, the rotation of it, you can change the color, and you can also change the background here. So play around with those. Now, obviously, the next thing we want to do is be able to turn the GPIO off because it's just sitting there and it's on right now. So all we need to do is click on this. Click that once, and it'll turn kind of yellow around it. Um, you can right-click it um, using your mouse, right-click button right there, and just duplicate it and then it'll create another one for you. And let's turn it off by choosing the key next to A, which is S. So let's go all the way down here. Now I'm gonna PQRS. So when S key pressed, set GPIO 21 to output low. Low is gonna turn it off. And let's set the message to off. O, F, F. All right, let's try this out. So I'm gonna go back here. So I'm going to hit A, actually I'm going to hit S, so let's hit S, off, awesome. So if I hit A, it turns it on, and I have hit S, it turns it off. Okay, now the challenge is making it blink, and we'll try that next.